Did Gautam Adani, did Sagar Adani mislead the Bombay Stock Exchange, the National Stock Exchange? And if yes, what are the consequences? Well, we'll try to answer this question uh, by using excerpts from the U.S. District Court indictment order against the Adanis. And we'll refer to four specific paragraphs which spell out the details, the chronological list of events as to whether or not there was any misleading claims made. First up, paragraph number 103. This paragraph very clearly spells out that the FBI reached out to Sagar Adani on March 17th, 2023. And once that happened, once the FBI had reached out, there were three specific things that happened on that day on March 17th of 2023. Number one, all his electronic devices of Sagar Adani were seized by the FBI. Number two, a search warrant was served on Sagar Adani, which very clearly listed out all the offences and the allegations for bribery under the FCPA, all of them were listed out for the benefit of Sagar Adani. And finally, a grand jury subpoena was also served on Sagar Adani, which again contained all these details. What's important is that the same paragraph also points out that this information then became available to Gautam Adani on the very next day, that's March 18th of 2023. All of this information was available. Gautam Adani was in the know of this investigation, was in receipt of that subpoena, of that search warrant. These are the important facts. These are the important dates. Keep that in mind. We now go to paragraph number 105. This paragraph very clearly spells out, the US court spells out, that Gautam Adani as well as Sagar Adani caused other people to make misleading statements on their behalf. Essentially, other people misleading uh, on behalf of Gautam Adani and Sagar Adani, saying that they were simply not aware of this US investigation. Next, we move to paragraph number 117. This paragraph again reiterates that claim that there were misleading comments being made on their behalf of Gautam Adani and Sagar Adani and that these misleading claims were made to the media, to the stock exchanges, as well as to financial institutions. And then we travel to paragraph number 120 and this is where the beans are sort of spilt. This is where uh, the court in fact spells out in great detail uh, that exactly a year after on March 19th of 2024 of this year, a year after uh, the FBI had reached out to Sagar Adani, served those search warrants, we find that there was a letter that was written by Adani Green to the Bombay Stock Exchange, to the National Stock Exchange, claiming that they had no knowledge of any ongoing investigation by the Department of Justice in the United States. And that is despite a year had transpired since they received the notice by the FBI, the search warrant by the FBI, which had very clearly listed out all those allegations and concerns with respect to bribery. And that, the US court concludes, is in fact making false as well as misleading claims. And what is important is that there are detailed obligations uh, listed out under the SEBI norms uh, for listing, for disclosures under the SEBI Act itself. Itself. And the apprehension is, we've spoken to very many legal lawyers, uh, what they tell us, the apprehension is that this could very well be a fit case for SEBI, the market regulator, to take action for these misleading claims. For more news and updates, all you need to do is follow CNBC TV 18 on all of our digital platforms.